Well, hello, lovelies. And beautiful humans. We did not plan that, but how cool. <laughs> I'm having a rough day today, so yes. just take that rough, into consideration. Rusty. I am being as jubilee as I possibly can. Yes. I think I mixed two words there. Yeah, but you yeah, said jubilee. We have Which unboxings. I yes. bought a thing. And I got a thing mailed. All right, so Rusty's box is definitely cooler than my box. But my box would be maybe more of an interest to all you elder not adults gents, enough. gals, gents, gals. <laughs> all right. Well, we're just going to combine words today, apparently, because we're not editing. Apparently, to take that out. we are trying to tell the world we need to bring back butchering English. Butchering English. We have been talking about getting back yeah. to our fun, more yeah. like headpiece wearing. Yeah. Exciting. And showing you my T-shirts. Remember, I used showing to show you all the time the T-shirts. Yes. This is Trixie Mattel, one of my favorite drag queens. My shirt I made says. There are two types of people in the world. One, those who can extrapolate from incomplete data. Mm -hmm. You might ask, what is part, what is two? What's two? You just might be, it says on the right. back. And what that means for those who don't know, because I didn't know what she was talking about. So clearly I'm a part two, because if you can understand something with incomplete information and completed kind of the gestalt theory of closure yeah, so, Woo! So i remember that from two types of people i was able to some people from this can take the information needed and realize what the second type of right. person are and there's nothing wrong with either one it's a little hard some, to understand some people can't understand they, they need all, almost like you need all the directions. All the information, yeah. And again, that's the difference of how brains, we always talk about how differently, how different brains function. And we're not going to go into that because you all know that. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get into the boxing. All right, so this is something that I've been watching those stupid infomercial um, uh, TikTok-y type things. But I didn't order this through TikTok because I'm a little sketched out about that kind of stuff, so it did intrigue me. So I went right to, which is a smart thing to do, Peter Thomas Thomas Roth's um, website. I went on it through Google. I didn't go through the the infomercial thing. All right, so you can recommend when you're on Sorry. any social media network and you see something you want, try to find it off of that social media network. It's a very easy place for, for scammers to try to get people. Oh, and there's so many scammers out there. All right, so I, I ordered, it says, hey, Virginia, but it's not, it looks handwritten, but it's printed out, which I think is whatever, I'm not going to say. Um, so I did order, I ordered two of them, instant Firmex for your eyes. Yes. And then apparently I ordered water drench. No, they, I don't know. I ordered something else. Anti-aging cleanser I ordered. Yeah. And they threw a couple little smallies in there. But anyway, um, what I thought we'd do is while we're here, if I can figure out how to open it. While we're here, here hang this for a second. I'm going to try this right on film. Mm -hmm. Right? So now what is this? This is stuff. This is... Uh, anti-aging I don't know you've probably seen it on TikTok but this is legit I'm not I'm not trying to like sell a temporary product. eye tightener yeah All right, instantly I'm tightens and firms mm. and smooths I put and in there too many times All right, hold on. the appearance of crow's that feet line and fine lines and deep wrinkles around the eye area I got a lot of those mm -hmm. for all skin types ah darn it's one of those cappy things Technical uh, difficulties. Yeah, well, you guys have all seen me. Oh, I think I got it. Got it. Oh, You've right. seen me struggling all the time. All right, so I took the little cappy thing off. So that's what she just said. It is what it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to apply it. But first, I I'm, had no idea you use brushes to apply moisture things and makeup and makeup. Well, yeah. I knew you used it for makeup, but I thought but it was look, for like powders. Can you see? Look at all those nasty. This uh, lighting is actually really nice. Not when you're looking at me close up. All right, and I'm sorry that I'm like looking away from you into here because I'm seeing myself in here. I have a hard time remembering to look at the camera and not... Look at the wrinkles. Oh, my gosh. All right, so we're going to do this and see what happens. And while she oh, it is says doing to, that, I can look at... There's not much else in here. I'm putting some on my hand because I've seen them do that. Go ahead. You go ahead and talk. No, it's actually... I mean, I'm curious to, like, 
So if you put a little bit on your hand, that's a very common thing with makeup. So I have My zero makeup really on right now, hence why I look like this. But And it says to kind of... No. I just don't want to paint my eyeball. Yes, that would be important. But yeah, it says to... I would have thought you went this way. It says to kind of come up... This is up, to go up. On, yeah. Up and in, almost. <clears throat> no, that's what she was telling me about. And then you can't you can't do any facial... I'm going to do it with my hair. Oh, so you're not supposed to use it on anywhere but your eyes? I don't know. He, they, there's another product that is a whole face thing, but I don't see why I can't put this all over my face. Let's just put it all over my face. All right, I'm going to do it on this side, too. I can feel it tightening. Now, this is a product that what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm very sensitive to a lot of chemicals, a lot of things. I'm, my body wants to only have specific... Sorry, I'm seeing a hornet over there, which means I'm going to have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to do the wrist test which is a common thing if you're sensitive to materials, if you're going to try something new, to put just a little bit on your wrist and see how it goes from there, which is if you have a reaction, that's an easy place to deal with a bad reaction. And, and the wrist is like probably a sensitive, similar to your face because it's a thin skin. Is that maybe why? Because you don't, this is a, you don't use it. It's not exposed to a lot of stuff. So it makes sense. I'm just putting it all over my face. Immediately not following the directions. And of course not. <laughs> Immediately. When have I ever followed directions? So this is a anti-aging cleansing gel. Yeah, I ordered that. Too. Helps visibly brighten with glyco glycolic, I can never say that word, acid, and yes. fruit extracts for all skin types. Watch my face break out in hives right on camera. Oh my gosh. Oh, so here's something. This it has a sunburn alert on this. Sunburn alert? Yeah. What's that? Um, mean? This product contains, not going to try to say that, and may increase sun sen your skin sensitivity to the sun, and particularly the possibility of sunburn. So to be sure to use sunscreen or wear protective clothing. Oh, so it makes sense. But that would yeah. make sense because it's a cleanser, and when you're cleansing, often what it's doing is almost just like taking off that layer, that layer of your skin. Natural oils. And, um, perfumes do that too. If you wear certain perfumes, it says be careful. So you never would have thought that, but when just spraying the perfume on yourself, I'm not supposed to make any facial expression. Um, that be careful that too. If you wear a certain, if you're trying a new perfume, just check it because sometimes it says that also will make you get sunburned. All right, I'm gonna just do this. Then we've got a cucumber gel mask, extreme detox hydrator. It's tight. A detox hydrator. Sounds weird. You can use it because I don't like cucumber. That's true. And then we got little bonuses here. This is a resurfacing serum. <laughs> what, from the dead? And a hydrated, really right? I don't know. And a hydrating <laughs> moisturizer. I'm sorry that I'm like, I got my mug right in your face, but yeah. All right, so we'll just see if this works. Go open your box. I'm trying to. I'm having a hard time. Speaking. Okay. I think I need more. <laughs> I'm going to be out of... This was expensive, just saying. Well, to me, it was expensive. Especially if I, and I bought two of them. Okay. Mine is this month's Magic of the Month box. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about one part of this. We're not going to go through the whole, whole thing. But, um... It just talks about, p part of this is a spiritual, it's basically a spiritual symbol of power that you're going to create. And I just liked the concept of, I wonder if the dragon's blood incense is too much for my allergies right now. It does smell good. I'm but literally having a hard time talking. Maybe it's this stuff and this doesn't have a smell. This is a prime example of the wrist test and allergies. But it was interesting in this. They talk about it because there's a clay that you're gonna, we're gonna, you would use at one point. And she mentions if you have a sensitive skin to test it on your wrist before oh, basically exactly like covering your whole said. palms. But um, yeah. So basically, what she was talking about is <coughs> taking a moment. And thinking about that childlike nature of having fun and being outside and then go, taking a little notebook. And you can do this with any material, but something that can dry and crumble like a clay would be best. But taking back that childlike nature, get a notebook, a pen, 
and some clay and a little bit of water and just kind of keep drawing until something resonates with you. Like I was doodling a little bit yesterday and like a swirl with arrow and almost like happy looking eye lines oh. is kind of the vibe that my brain was taking me. But it can be anything. It can be a just a cross. It can be something that it can be a something you make up, a circle with an X in it or whatever resonates with you. You just start doodling. And as you're doing that, you're envisioning yourself taking back that childlike powerful nature you had and and just genuinely being happy and then once you have the symbol you're going to draw it on both of your palms and as it's drying you envision yourself anointing yourself and slowly let it crackle away and then rub your hands together almost finishing off like taking in so you took in all the power you put into that drawing and absorbed it into your body and in the in the drawing also the 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 feeling of that the positivity of it it's similar to I when like we that. talk about like grounding which i like to call rooting it's just pulling almost like pulling nature's power into yourself but it's a nice concept this time of year. A lot of people have a rough time. We were talking about that this morning. Yeah, spring is more. De yeah, spring is. Uh, and I, I said this. I alluded to this in another video. But many of y'all know that. But you you think like, oh my gosh, spring, the flowers and yada yada. Everybody's happy, happy. But actually, it's spring is more depressing for more people than Christmas, or or the Christmas holiday time. So if you're feeling a little down in the dumps and all of that kind of stuff, you're not, you're amongst friends yeah. because a lot of us are feeling that way. Right. So My face is like feeling weird. Yeah. It's, it's just dried. dried. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it. It might be too weird for me. I don't it's like, like it's like wearing a, the mask stuff, you know, that you put on and then you wash it off. Yeah. How it just <laughs> sucks your face. So My face is shrinking. Some of you that have been following us for a while might know that my friend Morgan and I have this thing that is a ruler gifting game. And it started, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, it started um, when it was their birthday and I made them a little birthday package. And one of the things I gifted them was one of my favorite rulers. It was just this tiny little metal because the, the school they're going in with engineering and their jobs, like it's convenient to have a little pocket ruler that has all the different types of size, very precise. And when she pulled it out of the bag and looked at it, somebody else in the party was like, is that a ruler? And we were both like, it's a really nice ruler. <laughs> it is a ruler. It's true. It's a very nice ruler. The only two people on the planet that are actually giving rulers is gifts back and So forth. that started a thing. Then they found me a ruler, um, one of those old antique folding ones, which I really wanted. And that one's, I, I've meant that to grab it cool. beforehand. Yeah. Um, but it has like, like weights and heights that children should be at certain it's also ages primary colors and too. primary colors yeah. and measurements. So we've kind of been going back and forth on gifting each other a ruler. I actually got them the one that's a pen uh, level and all those things. And they were like, well, I guess I could take that out of my cart because that's what they were going to get me. Aww. But we kind of fell off for a little bit just because none of us found a cool ruler. And then they came into the shop the other day with this bad boy and it's actually yeah, it's you can measure rings really cool rings like what you're wearing mm -hmm. oh yeah, could you put like, your ring in there or o-rings things like metal hoop and rings um the whole piece comes right out which i didn't mean yeah but people do. hardly ever know what size they are ring yeah. ones. Well, maybe, i mean it would only tell you it's it, it's not a ring it's not going to tell you the size of your ring but it would tell you the measurements that you would then be able to tell a oh okay yeah, so yeah, this yeah. isn't four rings it's just like that's gonna it be could, you could use a ring that. that big would be an inch diameter, and it'd be a which is the whole way across finger. as opposed to a radius, which is from the center to one side, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But circumference yeah. would be the the measurement all so, the way around. Do any of you have silly things that you started and trade with people? Yes, and do you have a dried centered? face? Okay, I'm gonna do a close up. Yes, let's see a close up here. All right. For the review, I'll put my head. I'm going to look here. over here so you could see so it focuses if you time. notice any difference. I'm sorry for this scary close. It's a horror flick. <laughs> yeah, we need like scary music here. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, keep focused on my face. Yeah. Oh, it's white. I put too much on. 
Oh no! It made, it made my skin. It did. I put so much on, I made white. Oh my gosh! Look, really, no, no joke. Maybe that's why you're only supposed to use it under your eyes because under your eyes is always a little darker than the rest of your face, anyway. But it did say so, don't put too much because it'll turn white. <laughs> but that might be part of it. Is like it makes it look better because it's also lightening up a little bit. Yeah. I also want to point mm. out that my phone is so bad. I've been trying to upload a two minute and. 14 second video for an hour and I'm at 74%. So frustrating. Yep. And so yeah, how old is your phone? phone? How many years have you it's, had that phone? I've had it since I moved here. So seven. All right. Just saying. Yeah. And, how old are all your phones? Let's see. I want yeah. to see how, 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 what's the longest you ever had a phone? Did you guys see the that? Same Nokia, phone. Speaking of phones, remember like the indestructible Nokia this phone? It's crusty. The indestructible Nokia phone? That like brick, the Nokia brick, we all had it. Mine was horrible, and oh, you then, didn't believe me, and then you finally got a horrible phone. Yeah. My service was horrible. Yeah. But um, yeah, so those old school Nokia phones, they literally um, had one ringing, like the, the thing ringing, and like doused it in something and set it on fire, and it was like almost all the way melted and still ringing. Really? That was an indestructible yeah, it was. phone. Yeah. Was it Nokia? Mm -hmm. Or was it, there was another, the one that was the yellow one that a lot of the construction guys had. Oh, there was also that one. I don't think that was Nokia. That's what I'm thinking of. No, this was the like brick. It was like this shape. There's probably one in the drawer hidden in this house. Probably have one, yeah. <laughs> if, if I find it right after we're done with this video, I will pop back on and put a little second. But I, I don't. I, that, that should be one the chance. thumbnail if it's yeah. there. Yeah. What should make the thumbnail? To measure your face. <laughs> Um, that it might is. be the thumbnail. Yeah. So uh, I love the smell of the dragon's blood in your, your um, kit. Now, what's the name of the company again? It's, um, it's an Etsy shop? No, this is the, the, well, I mean, it's Dana and Greg Newkirk. That's but a, they have that, the, they were doing the traveling museum. They have a uh, haunted objects podcast. And I actually, they have people send them stuff all the time. That's like, they think it's haunted or like they actually do get some crazy thing sent to them. So Craig and I want to make a package where everything's super normal. So like I'm going to oh. make a, a case to put some of the things in is like definitely not a haunted notions bag. Just, and I've also been creepishly taking notes about things that Dana says she likes and movie quotes. <laughs> so I can oh, cater this very be specifically. Nice. Yeah. But yeah. So yeah. So just in other news, I didn't tell you this at all. Okay, so we all get to hear it at the same time, and then it's just short. So the man that lives in my house uh, splurged and bought himself a drone. Oh. So I took a. I was in the kitchen. He was outside playing with his other new toy, and Gus was very intrigued by it, and he was uh, standing it's next okay, to near it's okay. the father. It's okay. Oh, no, it's, you know, <laughs> it's okay. Otherwise, so just the neighbors. somebody was going to bark really loud. Just the neighbors. Um, anyway, so the cat was kind of wanting to play with this drone, and he was standing out there doing it. So so he had it. That was play with it day one, because the day that he got it was too windy. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Hi, buddy. It's okay. How's my buddy? Um, so then, then he had it like day two. <laughs> oh, there it is. Sorry. I'll do a bark alert. Okay. No, no. It's okay, ham. It's just the neighbor's. Come on, him. Undo that bark mouth. Hey, hey. No barking so on the couch. The, he, so then he gets like the snaggle tooth. But anyway, so day yeah. two of no playing with couch. new drone toy, it he had it going up and it was doing things with it. And he said all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he didn't touch anything. It just jettisoned across the main road and up into the woods in the mountain. Like, there's no way he can go there to retrieve it. Oh, no. It just shot. He goes, I didn't, he goes, I swear, I didn't touch anything, some kind of malfunction. I would message the And company. the dro drone just literally on its own went straight, super speed, ludicrous speed, Aww. shot across the route and across the other, those people up into the woods. That sucks. So day two of playing with his new toy and it's gone. I mean, it wasn't a high tech one. He got it on Amazon. Yeah, we have one in our house, so if we can find it, and he can figure it out, he can play with it. No, because it'll probably do that again. <laughs> well, let's do he it probably hit something. But anyway, so, all right, so my face, I don't know. Does it look any less wrinkly? Shiny and white. <laughs> so, there's <laughs> Like, this 
one's fine. So I mean, it does like, look flatter here, but it's super If shiny. you would look good stiff. If you would like your face to be shiny and white and, and stiff. feel really stiff, try this new. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not dissing the company because it's probably, if I put makeup on, um, it, yeah, or if you fine. did it properly. We're just gagging because I did, yeah. I did that to Mary Maxim or I think it was Mary Maxim. I said, Oh, look at the bag. So dirty. They must be collecting yarn out of the warehouse. And they immediately contacted me. Oh, didn't leave our warehouse that way. I said, I'm just my humor, man. Yeah. With, I have weird humor. So no, really tell you the truth. Peter Thomas Roth. Um, it feels tight. I'm poking fun. I clearly put too much on. And <laughs> never follow instructions because I didn't read. I didn't follow the instructions. You read them I out did loud. Read them. We, I read them. We all heard. Yeah, no, I read them, <laughs> but I didn't follow them. Mm -hmm. So the whiteness is me, but I I could see putting makeup on over this. Yeah, and I well, and also people that I wear the makeup stuff like it would probably bother me because I don't ever have stuff on my face like lotion. Oh, yeah, you, is the she feels like claustrophobic with concealer on yeah. you know just uh, literally i get claustrophobic yeah. with concealer on i need it off my face yeah this is you know it, it it makes my face feel tight and i'm i'm okay with that you know <laughs> so, yeah, yeah i'm a little that. tight right now <laughs> if you What's don't that? follow directions you'll have tight face you have tight face and no bangs all right so are we done i think we're done yeah we're done hey we love you guys oh. uh and be well and if you do buy this product enjoy and uh, we, I might, well, you have to see how how you test out on it. Yeah. See if you like it. But I didn't put any, it says not to put it on your eyelids, but I could feel the, the tightness. You know, I th I think it I did something. Yeah, it looks, I mean, it's definitely flatter. I mean, I didn't lose 30 years, but I'm going to say at least, you know, I think I look at least five weeks younger. Give me five weeks. What do you think? Anyway, I love you guys. I love you all. Bye-bye for now.